Leonard Stern, who was then one of three partners in Four Star Television, which included himself, David Susskind, and Dan Melnick, had a company called Talent Associates. And Melnick and, and uh, Susskind were in New York, and Leonard was out here. Leonard is, was a great producer and, and a great comedy writer, starting as far back as The Honeymooners, and ha having done a lot of great shows. And uh, he was at the time doing Get Smart. He was the producer of Get Smart, which was done for Talent Associates. And uh, he saw this pilot. And he had written, he and, and a, a, another comedy writer named uh, Arnold, Arnie Sultan, had done a, a pilot called uh, He and She with Dick Benjamin and Paul Apprentice, that Dick, Ken Mars happened to get a part in after it didn't work as, as a pilot for us. Kenny Mars was in this, so I guess for some reason, Leonard had seen the show and had seen enough in it that he called our agent and got us to come in, and he said, I'd like you guys to, to see this pilot I've done, he and she, and if you like it, I'll offer you a job. And that was that, and we loved it. It was a very funny pilot. Dick, Paul, one, one of the sad things is that Paula's career ended uh, when she was really in her early 30s, and I'm not sure why. Uh, she, uh, a little troubled, you know, had, had her problems from time to time. And uh, Dick was very funny. Uh, had starred on Broadway and the Star Spangled Girl and a lot of things. And, and, and Paula had made a lot of movies, Where the Boys Are and, and uh, uh, What's New Pussycat, things like that. But real life husband and, and wife. And real life husband and wife. And uh, a very funny show, very sophisticated and funny show, more on the, on the lines of the Van Dyke show. Uh, except there was a wife that, who was a, a, a bit of the wild, crazy person, and, and, uh, and Dick was, I, I guess Burns and Allen is not a bad analogy, you know, where the wife who the husband can sometimes not quite track on what she's saying, you know? But it was, uh, she, she was beautiful and funny and, and would have the most unexpectedly funny readings of stuff that where you had never heard it, but it was twice as funny as you had written it, you know? Well, it was a hilarious pilot. It was really funny. And... Uh, so the two of them was Ken Mars. Ken Mars, Hamilton Camp, who was out of Second City in, in uh, Chicago. Chicago. Story Theater, Second City, and the great, late, great Jack Cassidy. Jack, who is this enormous Broadway musical star, playing a character. The, Dick was a cartoonist, Dick the character. And he was a cartoonist and he, he, he drew a comic strip called Jetman. And Jetman had been turned into a television series. And Jack Cassidy played Oscar North, the actor playing the, the uh, television version of Dick's creation, who was the biggest ego in the history of the world, and very, very funny. I'm not sure what Leonard had seen in, in the Shepherd's Flock pilot that we had written that he liked as much as he did, but I'll always be grateful for him to have done that, because I, I think that working on that show uh, really changed my way of thinking about comedy. that that Because up to then, we had done this sort of goofy stuff, satirical, just goofball stuff. And this was a show that was, although it was pretty fairly broad in places, it was really about a married couple. And and it was about he and she. It was about the, the battle of the sexes. And, and it was <clears throat> very, very well written. and. And to write that show, we had to crank our game up quite a bit 
a number of notches to get to get to the quality of what they were doing on that show. And Leonard was very patient with us, and and Arnie Sultan, who was remarkable, was uh, the one of the producers of the show and the, basically the head writer on it, was a tremendously funny man and uh, kind and, and wacky, but had been a friend of Lenny Bruce's and and uh, was a had been a stand-up comic of his own, on his own at, when he was in New York, but had given it up to become a, a television writer. It was one of the best that I know of. And we wrote, I, I would guess Chris and I probably wrote eight or 10, was, the show was only on a year, but we, and I think she, he and I only wrote about eight or 10 of them. And we were nominated for a, an Emmy for one of them as was, as were, Leonard and, and Arnie for the pilot, which was so great. And it was a shock and an embarrassment that we won the Emmy that they deserved. And we were just so flabbergasted by the fact that we just thought we were along for the ride. We we're just very happy to have been nominated. And when they called out our names that we had won this thing, uh, oh, we were. We, I, my, my first reaction was one of complete embarrassment because I'm sitting here looking. We, in those days, the Emmys were held like the Golden Globes are now around tables, so you got to look across and see the look on on Gloria Stern's face when Leonard didn't win and, and Chris and I did, and when Arnie didn't win and. The, and, and, and they were very gracious about it, but we were humiliated by it. It just seemed like un completely unfair to us. 